Thanks for joining us for the Member Excite presentation. The Member Excite presentation is informative, interesting to the audience, and showcases the strengths of the presenter as an entrepreneur and their area of expertise. It's not a sales pitch, it's a 10 minute educational and insightful exploration into what they do. And of course, it's exciting. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our BX Excite presenter today. Bettina Detta from Bettina Detta Writer to present to us on Five Steps to Becoming a Published Author. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Bettina Detta. Yeah, hello again, my name is Bettina, I'm a content writer and editor, and today I want to share five lessons I learned on my journey from the public author. And I know, I talk into all the people here, and you all are, will be very passionate about what you do, and have great stories to tell you, what have made a, a difference in, with your target audience. And um, some of you might have this book idea in their heads, you know, for a while, and you don't have started or you start something and you are stuck after 10,000 words and you don't know how to continue or what to write next and how much you need. And so I, um, what you will hear basically are my five lessons I learned in the last year since I started creative writing and I just thought I'd do that while sharing my story. So it all started with this red book which I found in 2014, it's called My Mind Green Green and it's literally a book with like 130 questions about your life. And I was intrigued, I started filling it out. It took me several months and then I realized how much, how many gaps I had in knowledge about my family history, what my parents, how they grew up, how they lived and so on and so on. I was really intrigued, I thought, okay, in 2015, I'm, my new year resolution is to start writing about my life. And then I thought, how do I do that? And so that is my lesson number one. I did actually the course. I thought, okay, I seek professional help because instead of wasting precious time and fiddling something about and going on, I went to the Australian Writer Centre and did a life writing class. And so it's really important to, yeah, if you want to start a long form writing project, well, because a, a book is around 70, 80,000 words, some have even more than 100,000 words, so you need to set yourself up from the beginning for success. And that can be your writing courses, courses online, these courses, or really writing center. You can do um, workshops, you can get a writing coach, you can get even a ghostwriter, you can say that writing is not your cup of tea at all. So then I started this class, and the first thing the author who ran it said to us, okay, if you want to write a long form project, you need to get into a daily writing habit. Again, I'll set yourself a goal, 500 words a day, or one hour a day, or whatever time you have, but other than if you're not getting into a daily habit, this is to happen, because writing for most people is not their main profession. You know, it's a nice thing they want to do, but they have family business and life goes on, and so I think you know what I'm talking about. And um, so that's my lesson number two, establish some habits, because it's also research found that um, establishing routines is the most powerful lead that you get anything done, really. So, okay, I thought, how do I do that? I got up earlier, an hour earlier in the morning, 5 a.m. instead of 6 a.m. and started writing. And also I teach watching TV because I need to, needed to read as well. So if you write, you need to read in your genre or any, any other genre actually. And then um, this course actually brought me from zero words to 75,000 words in 10 months. Which was pretty good. First draft done, it's obviously never the last, So, um, but it was a good start. And also what happened in this writing class was there was a group of memoir writers that formed and we at that time it was 2015 we created we founded our memoir writing group which is still working happening today and i'm still a member of it and so that's my um lesson number three um surround yourself with like-minded people who support you who know what you're going through what you're doing which you're on and also for accountability and so then 2015 went by, we did another course there, the advanced life writing, and I had this first draft of the manuscript. Then in 2016, I thought, okay, I'll start pitching this to some publishers. But obviously, <laughs> first, never pitch your first draft. I learned that then, only rejections, nothing happened, and I was like, 
right. So anyway, I kept going, writing more, and then life happens, you know, and keeps going, and you just add more to it, and you change it again, you edit it, and the, the writing group obviously has it as well. And then um, there were also times when I didn't write at all, because other stuff happened, and I want you to know it's, it's a very, um, it's a very like a roller coaster journey. You know, one day you think you're super excited about what you've done already, and the next day you think, who is ever going to read this? Or is every anyone ever going to read what I'm producing here? And that's um, what I then realized in that time, which is really important because it's a long, a long journey. You need, and that's my next lesson. You need a really strong mindset. You need to have, I guess, three things, and these, these are actually three things I learned in my other business. In Belinda mentioned, I also have a product-based um, online business, and these are belief, attitude, and commitment. And firstly, believe in yourself. A lot of people struggle with that. They think, I can't do it, I'm not worthy, I don't know, no one is reading it. So really, you have to work. Um, and I've worked with coaches over the years as well, so it, it's... Um, just to always go back and believe that you can do it. Attitude and attitude and gratitude is always great. Or to have achieved positivity so that you stay on the journey. And then commitment, obviously, because if you're not committed to this project, like if you're 10% committed, the chances are it's probably not going to happen in a kind of reasonable amount of time. Um, so you need to sort of be committed and end of the get up earlier, do something to figure out to carve out that time to actually get it done. So then what happened was, life went on, and um, in, at the end of 2016, I had a life-changing event happen to me in a 90-minute massage. I know it sounds crazy, but that is what happened. And I started, um, it changed my life. I separated from my husband the year afterwards. So in 2017, I started real-time writing, which was really authentic. I knew this wouldn't be the last draft either, but I thought I need to get it all out. And then in 2018, I started walking dancing, which made my writing totally went on the back burner because I spent every five seconds in the dance school and I had no headspace and I thought now I need to get that dancing thing going now. And so my management is appeared for a, a, a year or so in the drawer. I didn't draw my writing room. I, I said I need some breaks, blah, blah, blah. Went on and then 2019, I was dancing the whole year, no writing. <laughs> but then, and I knew at some point, Come out again. I, I kind of thought I had to trust the process. I, I know it will happen. And then it happened in 2020, in January. I was at the movies on the 4th of January and I watched this movie, Little Women. I don't know who. And I, seen <laughs> of course. And I was like, I had no idea what that was about. I watched it. And then at the end, the last scene, literally, this protagonist has her pool in her hand, her memoir, I thought. Oh my god, I was like, I still get it. I was like, it. that's it. My, I went home, messaged my writing group. I said, guys, I'm back in. I need to just keep it happening. This is the year, it's going to happen. Blah, blah. So I went in, started writing about my dancing, and added a whole load of chapters. A month later, I get an email for, from a publisher of an international writing competition with an entry call for submissions um, for um, a competition called A Moment That Changed My Life. And I thought, perfect, chapter one of my memoir, send it in, forgot about it. Another, another month later, I got another email from a publisher offering a three-month um, uh, um, mentorship program for authors with fit uh, complete manuscript. Great, I signed up for that. That was COVID last year, so I did that. And then 2020 passed, and this year I thought, okay, my goal is to pitch to 10 publishers by the end of June. I made it to eight publishers, and then I got two rejections and I had nothing and I still haven't heard from the other six now November. But what happened in earlier this year I got an email from this writing competition guys who said well, they had great entries, hundreds of entries internationally, they decided to put together an anthology with 40 stories. And mine was chosen and there is the book. So it came out in October, um, just now in internationally, Australia, New Zealand, the UK, Canada, and US. But that, and I was like, oh my God, amazing, over the moon. <laughs> but then two weeks later, I get an email one morning, totally unexpected, from a publisher offering me a contract for my memoir. And I was like, what? <laughs> but, and the thing is, and that's my last lesson, 
always surrender to life and see, but put it out to the universe, and then it will come back at some point because this publisher was not the publishers I pitched to. It was actually the dance partner of a dancer friend who I met earlier this year in another dance school. I normally don't go to school. And he heard my, he read one of my posts about the turning point and said, hey, can you put another publisher contact? And I said, yeah. And he said, my dance partner happens to be, and the, the, the most funny thing, this guy is German. <laughs> and he's based in Munich, and he's like, oh my god, oh, this is ridiculous. Wow. Anyway, now I signed a publishing contract with them, mm. and hopefully next year my memoir is out, it's called Dare to Dance, and that's mine. Yeah. Yeah. Stop it. Yeah. Yeah.